The second type is composite index. So here the measurement is done for multiple products put together. So we take the scenario of a shopping basket. You see various items being bought into it. The changes will be done for all those items in the particular basket. Now again, in order to have a meaningful comparison, you have to choose the base year, but those same items must be present in that particular year. Now again, the measurement can be price, it can be quantity, it can be consumption, it can be usage, etc. Now there are further breakdowns of the composite index, okay, unlike the simple one. The first one is the last Perry price index. Here, the index measures the change using the base period quantities instead of the price. Now the formula is summation of the multiplication of the selected price multiplied by the base quantity or divided by the summation of the multiplication of the price of the base year multiplied by the quantity of the same base year. So if you look at the quantities, they are all of the base. And this will be multiplied by 100. We move to the second one, which is the Pache price index. Now, this index measures the change using the current period quantity. So, looking at the formula, the summation of the multiplication of the selected price multiplied by the selected quantity period, or divided by the summation of the multiplication of the base price being multiplied by the selected quantity. Multiply by 100. Let's test understanding. Below are stated the quantities and unit prices for commodities for a community in each of the years 2008 and 2009. So for cocoa, quantity for 2008 is 25. Price is $5. 2009 is 30 for quantity. Price is $5.5. For coffee, 2008 quantity is 15. Price per unit is 2.5 dollars for 2009 quantity is 17 price is 2.7 dollars for cashew quantity is 20 and price is 1 dollar for 2008 whilst for 2009 quantity is 35 and price is 2.5 so we have to calculate the price index for 2009 with 2008 as base year using the last Perry and the Pache price index for solution, we'll start with the last Perry. Its formula is the summation of the selected price multiplied by the base quantity divided by the summation of the multiplication of base price times base quantity multiplied by 100. So when we come to the cocoa, the selected price was $5.5. Base price was $5. Base quantity is 25. So if you are multiplying the selected price by the base quantity that will give us 137 point five dollars multiplying the base price by the base quantity will give you 125 dollars for coffee the selected price is 2.7 dollars base price is 2.5 dollars base quantity is 15. so the selected price multiplied by the base quantity will give you 40.5 the base price multiplied by the base quantity will give you 37.5. For cashew, selected price is 2.5. Base price is 1. Base quantity is 20, meaning that the multiplication of the selected price and the base quantity will be $50. And the multiplication of the base price and the base quantity will give you $20. Now, summing the multiplication of selected price and base quantity will give you 228 whilst the summation of the base price and the base quantity will give you 182.50 dollars so the index will provide 124.93 we got that by dividing 228 as seen in the formula with 182.5 multiplied by 100 meaning that there was an increase by 24 0.93 percent comparing 2008 to 2009 for these three products put together the second one is the Pache price index its formula is the summation of the multiplication of the selected price with the selected quantity or divided by the summation of the multiplications of the base price 
with the selected quantity multiplied by 100. So if you are solving for it, for cocoa, the selected price is 5.5. The base price is 5. The selected quantity will be 30. Multiplying the selected price by the selected quantity will give you 165. Multiplying the base price by the selected quantity will give you 150. When we move to coffee, selected price is 2.7. Base price is 2.5. Selected quantity is 17. Multiplying the selected price by the selected quantity will give you 45.90. Multiplying the base price by the selected quantity will give you 42.5. For cashew, the selected price is 2.5. The base price is 1. The selected quantity is 35. So multiplying the selected price by the selected quantity will give you 87.5. Multiplying the base price by the selected quantity will give you 35. So the summation will give 298.4 for selected price and selected quantity and 227.5 for base price and selected quantity so the partial will provide an index of 131.16 being 298.4 divided by 227.5 multiplied by 100 so if you check the two the partial delivered an increase in the three products more than that seen in the lingerie let's look at the merit of using index numbers the first is that it helps in decision making once you know the position of one year in relation to the other in terms of jumps you will be able to make certain findings about what necessitated that change secondly it presents easier comparison as the base is denoted by 100 the moment you solve and you get something above 100 it easily denotes a jump if it is below 100 it's a drop before you start looking for the causal effect the composite index makes sure that the changes in all the products or the items are factored in the final results that you get so if you are comparing cashew coffee and cocoa a change in any of the three will be captured in the final price index that you get so you are rest assured of a relevant figure to be used now lastly when you identify the index it can tell you the relationship between price and quantity and revenue and cost so if let's say your selling price went up and your revenue also went up then you can tell that there is a positive correlation between the two on the other hand if price goes up and your revenue comes down then it should tell you that you don't have the leverage of passing on any cost onto your selling price for the merit it gives an inadequate conclusion because the index are relative not absolute it doesn't give you a clear-cut scenario. For example, if you are comparing a simple index of, let's say, cocoa and cashew, if cocoa has a 10% increase, cashew has 5% increase, you cannot just automatically say that cocoa performed better than cashew in that particular year. So, for example, if cocoa is selling at $100 and the subsequent year sells at $110, that is 10% jump. However, if cashew is selling at $1,000 and it moves to thousand and fifty five percent has been realized but the jump in the cashew is 50 which is more than the jump in the cocoa of 10. so looking at the index cannot just give you what really occurred secondly it might be a bit unreliable as seen in the composite calculation the partial give us one index the last period give us a different index all measuring the same set of items then lastly it is only meaningful to items calculated in the index or per the situation as we have calculated for one community it might be different for another community the community situation called for the kind of index that we had or for the cocoa cashew and coffee that we had we cannot just assume that all commodities are likely to also have an increase it might differ for other communities who might have unstable environment or might not see these crops as very crucial